Come in. Hello, comrade. How's it going? Going good. That's good. It's good to see you. What brings you here so early? Because, comrade, we have a problem. Again, as I mentioned it. Apparently, there has been three murders. All... Something that you need to see. Who are these people? The kid's name is Andrew. The woman's name is Susan. The man's name is Mr. Miyoto. He was involved with the Yakuza. Really? It's strange. It's so damn difficult. These people were literally skin the lives of these people I, I just don't know what kind of sick fuck would probably go and do this oh my god <sighs> yeah Mr. Miyoto here was one of the severe cases he Jesus Christ this man right here got killed in this section right here. It's... His face was literally skinned alive. It's... Jesus Christ. It's... Fuck, man. I can't take this shit anymore. This kid right here didn't even need to be harmed. I tried my best, but I couldn't find who the hell it was. I told myself I wouldn't stop until I found all these people and got that son of a bitch. It seems that that's not the case. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the fishing village in your district. Yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. See, the thing that all these people have in common with is that they used to live in that fishing village. It's... That's the only connection that we have that ties them all together. But even then, no DNA tracks. It's as if as though the killer disappeared. But what's more shocking is this letter. This is the only other thing that we have to identify this killer. He left this note basically saying that I am the sky. I could be anywhere at any time and it won't fucking matter. Now, I thought to myself, this is just some random psychopath. And since with our technology, we should have been able to find him. But for fuck's sake, man. I can never find him. Hey, these are only three killings of this month. The past five months, he's literally killed ten people. We still haven't found a trace. If you read right here, the only, the only kind of information we have is that he is in a place called Shadow Zone. But that doesn't give us much to work with. Shadow Zone? Where the hell is that at? None of us know. We don't even have the slightest clue. But the reason why... I'm asking you is because you are the only one that knows about the fishing village. The only thing I can assume is that some or thing or someone is going around killing people. But that is the only the only trace that we have of it. This is it. If you do not get any sort of 
other information, we have nothing to go on and we might have to close the case right here. And then the man's going to be able to kill again and not get caught. What if no one talks to me? I mean, I'm not local or anything like that, so... Again, that's why I said you're the only one. We don't know a goddamn thing about them, unlike you. We tend to distance ourselves from that little fishing village. The whole point of the matter is that you're the only one that we've got. That's the best that we can come up with. No one else. No one's willing to go there. Not even because it's terrifying. It's because they hate those goddamn people. You know, in my honest opinion, I don't like them either. But since it means saving lives, I'll do it. So you got your guy. But first things first, I know these people are like that. So, whatever happens, happens, but I will make damn sure that no more lives will be taken. I'll make damn sure of that. You assume, or you appreciate individualism, but... I know for a fact they're all like that, but I'm glad to see that you are willing to help me. But there's two things I need to ask you. One, why are you dressed like Hobo? What the hell? Are you serious? Because, my friend, you are officer, not man who begs for money and treats. I tell you this now, you are upholding the law. Don't dress like bomb in Russian streets, asshole. Whatever. <laughs> I'll be at the fishing place where we last met, all right? So, you count on me, sir. I'll get the job done. I'm just trying to warn you. Just be careful. I can't come in there and help you. Now, I know you view those fishing village people as individuals with the individual rights, but like I said, you do not know them that well. The only person that does is you. And even then, I can't even guarantee that there's not going to be anything wrong. Well, I'll let you cope with the information. See you later.